sync. All right, y'all. Welcome back to part two. Uh, let's go ahead and continue, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. So let's go ahead. We left off at the the legs because I think we was talk. I was talking about how muscular they look. So let me uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh fix these legs because they do look kind of muscular, musculated. You know what I'm saying? Just shrink these down, y'all. That's all I'm doing. Just move that up. Make sure y'all got proportional edited on. All right. All right, boom. So this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and start with the uh, hands. Let's model the hands. Let's not. So we're going to uh, start with this air. Go into x-ray mode. Scale this down. Scale this down. And scale this down. All right, let's start with these. Let's go to face select mode, y'all. Now we starting off with the the arms. I mean the hand. So let's scale it on the Y. Scale it on the Y. The y. Okay. Do you want to right click and subdivide this? All right. So we got these right. So what we'll do is. So what I'm doing is just smoother this out. This subdivide right here, you can click that. I'll no, just smoother it out just a tad. So I got it at 0.5 and some change. Y'all can copy that. And yeah. Uh, let me see. So now we're going to take this bottle, these bottle halves, right? Let's take these bottle halves of the head. And that's going to be our paw. Yo, bro, my nose just got stuffy out of the fucking nowhere, bro. It's just pollen. So if I sound stuffy or audio, forgive me. Uh, the pollen is whooping my ass right now. So yeah. Hey, hold on. Give me. Hold on just a second, y'all. We finna go right to commercial break. Give me one second. Hi, my name is Jew, and I see you haven't joined the Patreon. No. Hi, my name is Jew. No, I'm the real Jew. No, I'm the real Jew. Hi, I'm the real Jew. Huh? How you the real Jew? You're not even finished. I die? Oh, yeah. Yo, we got a mishap. Uh? Anyways, I see you haven't joined the Patreon. What are you still doing watching us talk? Click that link right there and join the Patreon. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. You know what? All right, y'all, we back. All right, so like I stated before, this right here is gonna be a paw. We're gonna rotate this, right? Rotate it. It's gonna be a paw. All rotate it just a little bit again. Just scale this radius circle down. Let's control R. Shit. So this is what we do. We'll control R. 
instead of doing that, we'll just hit K for night tool and we just go hit the green line and come down right here and then hit enter because we got to extrude for our thumbs. So this, hit edge select mode, select these two and just hit G twice. So we got to make room for our thumbs. So, matter of fact, let me rotate this to rotate this. So while this is select this right here, this is part of the palm too. Right here, rotate it and move it down. That's how we go. And let's add a knife tool. Let's go to vertex select mode. And let's add a knife tool. Let's select right here. Hit two. And go on the other side and do the same thing. Enter. And then let's go for the top. Knife tool. Enter. Ill at center All right, so we got our hand prepped and ready to extrude our fingers. Let me go ahead and, and push some of this in. Let me hit G X. Push it in a little bit. Add to that mode. Just push these edges in. There. Rotate, you know, go to face select mode. All right. Let's go ahead and extrude the figures. Okay, first, before we do that, let's adjust these and make them a reasonable size. I'm just selecting the edge and moving it twice. So this will be our index, middle, ring, pinky. do is hit I to inset, lock it in, right click, oh shit, hit I, lock it in, right left click, all right, and then we're going to go to loop tools, right click, loop tools, and circle, that way we got a perfect little circle for our figures, same thing with this one, we're going to hit I, lock it in, left click, right click, loop tools, circle. So it may look kind of crazy. Take proportional edit it off. Just rotate it. You can scale it down too. That way you got room. I'm just gonna make some room right here for these. Let's scale this in too. Rotate. We're gonna insulate mode. I'm just skinny, make this index a little skinny. All right, All right let's move to the next finger, hit I to inset, lock it in, scale it down, right click, loop tools and circle. Just adjust, adjust it, scale it up just a tad. Same thing for this one. I to inset, scale it, lock it in, left click. All right. 
straight, and then we're gonna right click, loop tool, circle. Let's scale it down. And let's move this. Let's see. Hit G twice and move it. I'm just gonna adjust this edge right here. So, so now the palm is a bit too fat. So let's shrink. Bring our tab up, hit T, shrink and flatten. It's already selected. And let's flatten this out. So flatten that out. Shift up this. Then we're gonna scale some of this palm in too. So hit S and Y. So I'm just grabbing stuff, trying to adjust. That's all I'm doing. So if you want to go ahead and adjust some of this with me, you can. I'm not doing anything particular. I'm just adjusting right now. You guys, we're going in. Just making sure my topology is right, man. Once everything, once you see everything that's like lined up the way it needs to be, then everything will start building itself together. You know, we move this back some. Just rotate this on the Z. That way you can make that indention for the elbows, you know? Well, i do that. I mean, it's there, y'all can see it, right? All right, bet. So let's go ahead and make the fingers. Make our fingers. So hit, go back to edit mode and start with the first finger. You're gonna extrude. Oh, also let's, don't forget to make our thumb. So this is how I'll do it. I'll just move this edge up. Move this up right here. Shit, I'm just gonna hit this back. Yeah, I'll just move that back, that's all. Let me merge these right here. So I'll merge these together. That way it look good. So now we got space for our thumb. We're gonna hit I, lock it in, right click, loop tools, and then circle. We're gonna scale that bad boy in. Make sure it's placed correctly. Just make sure all your stuff is neat, man. That way Blender won't give you no hard time. Gats to do the work early first. All right, bet. So let's start with the first one. So if I look at my hand right now, and if I place some like regular, that first index finger, we're gonna scale out. We're gonna hit E, X axis. So the first stop is gonna be right here. That's gonna be our first knuckle. So we have, matter of fact, so we have the that knuckle right here on our hand. If you look at your hand, look at your index finger. Look at the, oh shit. Hold on. But I knocked the mic over that, man. All right, so look at your first knuckle on your uh, index finger. You know this part right here, your knuckle? That's the first one, right? It's just like this area over here if we can. 
Don't worry about that for right now. So, okay. So when we extruded it, we extruded to the second knuckle. This is your second knuckle right here. So let's grab this. Alt Z. Now we finna extrude it. Extrude it to the third knuckle. So we got one, two, three. Third joint, I mean. So we got one joint. We extrude it to the second joint. And now the third joint. So we're gonna extrude to the third joint. Extrude X. Third joint right here. And now, after that third joint, it's the fingertip. So the fingertip ain't that far away from the third joint. So we hit E and extrude on the X. So the fingertip will be like right, I say right here. So you got your fingertip right here. You got your fingertip. You got your third knuckle. You got the uh third knuckle. You got the middle knuckle and you got the third joint got that joint right there near the first knuckle you feel me if i make sense man let me know if i don't make sense let me know i can explain it man all right so you got your figure right so let's go ahead and uh this is what i'll do i'm going to right. so go make sure your tab is open go to edge slide hold it and go to vertex slide right here go hit a A and four. Let's actually move. Hold on, y'all. Let me move this up a little bit. All right, there. All right, go back to vertex slide. Hit A. Hit it out. We go do a little vertex right here. I think I did it wrong. Hold on. Damn, I fucked up, y'all. Is it earth edge slide? It's edge slide. I think I messed up. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright. I forgot what I. Is it this? It's bicep, okay. Go to the knife, hold it, go to bicep. That's on me. Okay, yeah, so hit A. We're gonna bicep, uh-oh. What the fuck is he doing, G? Bicep that. Hit A again. Let's go to top mode. So we gotta bring this together. Hit G twice. We just try to make enough topology. That way we make it indentures. Let's just move this up right here. <laughs> See how you got your indention right there? Same with this. Let's go to 
Bison, hit A. Right click, slip right there. Hit A again. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, I might not even do the bicep. I'm gonna just do control R, bro. Cause. Folks, tweak it. So control R. And then control R right here. To straighten these out, to flatten these out, I hit S, X, and then zero. So I scale it on the X and hit number zero. So now I'm just gonna bring these edges in. And bring this edges in. <coughs> and then bring that middle edge up. As you can see, we got our finger. Got the little lines in the finger. <laughs> and let's go ahead and bring these edge up to make the knuckles. So you got your knuckles right there. You got your knuckles right. Here. Oh, hit O. Of course, look at it. Knuckles in there. Let's bring this up. Make this knuckle. If I hit I, what the hell that do? Let's scale this. Let me see what that did. I ain't do nothing. I don't even gonna worry about that right now. Uh, <laughs> let's not worry about that right now. All right, let's go ahead and make our fingernail. So I take this top right here. I'm gonna just rotate it, you know. Make our little finger. Alt click. I'm gonna select this loop right here. So edge selection hit G twice, go back to face select mode, which is number three. And now let's hit I and set. And we're just gonna rotate this down. Let's move it down just a tad. Take this edge right here. I just move it back like this. Yeah. And move it down. Hit Control R. Make a loop selection right here. It doesn't do anything. It do anything. What the hell did it do? This one. And I'm gonna hit extrude. I'm gonna extrude on the X with this one. Yeah, that should look kind of goofy though. What the fuck? It's not. And trying to see, let me see. Let me hit E at Z. Move it forward. Rotate it. Okay. Yeah, just rotate it. 
So you just extrude it up and then rotate it. And we'll just take this E X. Hold on, I'm recording. So we got our fingernail. All right, so we got our finger, right? <clears throat> now we're just gonna take this finger. Bro, I'm really giving y'all hella lessons on this bitch, bro. <laughs> but it's all good, I fuck with you. All right, we're gonna take this finger. So hit all A, select the first index finger and check this. Hold control and then click the plus sign. So the plus button. So when you hold control and click the plus, it will select this. So now we select that finger. I select it one more time. All right. What if, hold on. Let me pull these nubs out a little before I do that. All right, so what I did, let's straighten these out. So I hit S, X, and then zero to flatten it out. And so I'm gonna take these nubs and push it out just a tad. All right. So I got, hey, yo, chill out. Uh, All right, so I select this. Select his finger with the control plus. And make sure you start on the tip. Pause. All right, so hit control, I mean, shift D. And move them in the correct area. Select it to. I'm gonna select it to right here. So hit Shift D, G Y, G Y. This is the middle finger. What we can do is go here to shrink and flatten. Just move it out. So the index finger should be a little shorter than the middle finger. So bring this part down. Make sure proportional editing is on with O. And for those who don't know proportional editing, it's just this piece right here. Right there. So I'm move it. I'm gonna scale this down too. I mean, I'm gonna uh, like, 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 slim it, make it a little slimmer. I don't want no fat, but jungle, jungle fingers, man. Got no fat fingers you can't even pick coins up with. You can't even dial the phone on. 
boy finger so fat he hit one button hit all so we're gonna have to shrink him you feel me Let's go ahead and select this one. Select this finger right here. And shift D, duplicate G, Y. G, Y. Oh shit. G, Y. I had turn proportion in it and I thought I could move by itself. I think this middle finger needs to come off. So. Let's go ahead and extrude the thumb. Let's go to face select mode. Let's go ahead and get the thumb. I'm gonna scale it up. And I'm gonna flatten it out, hit S, Y, and zero. And then we're gonna scale it out on the Y. I mean, extrude it out on the Y. So if you look at the thumb, on, on your thumb, just try to match it up as best. I'm trying to see. So we got that. All right, so this will be our first knuckle right here. Let's straighten this out, rotate that. All right. Come on. All right, so you got your first knuckle or your first joint. Let's scale that joint down. Bring this back, G, Y. Scale it down. All right. All right. That's that first knuckle. Let's go ahead and extrude to the second. Matter of fact, let's scale this down. All right, so we got the first knuckle. Let's go ahead and extrude to the second knuckle. E, Y. So this is our second knuckle. on the X and then we're gonna go ahead and strew for the fingertip fingertip right here and let's adjust adjust like that just rotating 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 Bring this up. Got your thumb. Then just go right view mode. And it's all about making it, like just farming it, I guess. If that makes sense. So 
that's the tip, fingertip. Then we gotta do a little indenture. So we're gonna hit Control R right here. Right click, Control R right here. And we just gonna have to move this up. joint that's the joint next to the fingertip and then you got the joint right here it's your big joint right here you need to make this scoot up so and just hit edge select mode and then move this and move it. Now you can see shit coming together, man. For those who weren't able to do this the correct way, this is the correct way. Well, my correct way. There's plenty of ways to skin a cat, but this way I find a lot more easier than the way I was teaching before. But yeah, all it takes is just experimenting in tutorials. That's it. And then once you learn from tutorials, you can add that to your own bag. All right, so let's bring this down. I'm gonna bring this down. Alright, so we basically got our hands. So now we gotta just attach these fingers. How we do this? Let us. I'm gonna hide this. So if you hit L, L, select these last two and hide them. Hit H, and to bring her back, all you can do is just hit Shift H. Oh shit, I mean, not Shift H, but Alt H. So, hi, it's H. Peekaboo, you can't find me. Oh, and then to reappear, fucking Alt H. Oh, there I go, you found me. There it is. <laughs> so let's hide it. <coughs> all right, let's hit L. Well, actually, yeah. Move this out a little bit. All right, so now. We can really take this and delete it. Delete face. So now, let us bring forth light. Hit that. All right, so now I'm about to attach the middle finger to the hand. Oh, what the? Okay. All right, now hide it. So I take, go to vertice mode. I take one vertice and the other one. Tie, make sure they lined up or make sure it's matched up correct. I hit M to merge and at center. Merge at center. Same thing. With this, take this one. Merge M at center. Make sure you be able to see. And then the last one, we merge these two. Hit M at center. Boom. 
And it's easy as that right there. And now all you gotta do is just readjust. Look like somebody broke his finger. So just readjust this right here. So hit all proportional editing. Just this gap piece right here. All right, bet. It's a bit cricket, but we gonna we gonna fix it in uh, scope mode. But yeah, man, y'all see how far along y'all came? If y'all, uh, I try to make these tutorials as easy as possible. You know, that way niggas ain't fuck yeah. Oh, you went too fast. Oh, it's confusing. Cause I know how these tutorials get, especially I, like Blender tutorials. I know certain people, they don't really explain all the way. So my job here is to explain and dumb it down for you guys. All I'm doing is dumbing it down for you guys. Just making it easy. A lot of people, when they do tutorials, especially like Blender, they don't make the tutorials easy, bro. They make it harder than what it has to be. All right, so now, And by the way, if you fuck with the tutorials, put down in the comments, man, Jew, I fuck with the tutorials. Keep going. And I'm out. All right, so like, all right, let's get back. So we're going to hit Alt-H. Unhide. Make sure y'all save, too. Save y'all projects right now. Save. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hide the pinky. Hit L. Make sure you hovering over the pinky and hide it. All right, so next, we're gonna repeat, rinse and repeat. We're gonna delete this face right here, that nub. Might as well go ahead and delete this nub too. All right, so let's go to ver uh, vertex select mode. We're gonna take our first vertices right here, boom, and boom. Hit M as in Mary, add center, merge. Let's do the bottom, the other bottom, boom, and boom. Hold shift, hit M as in Mary, merge, center. Feel me? All right, let's make our way to the tippity top. So we got these vertices. We got this couple right here. We're gonna have to marry this couple. Boom and boom. Hit M as in Mary and merge that mug at center. All right. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, I, oh, yeah, I fucked up. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, make sure this couple See, the reason why I did that, because we try to have a three-way. It was three vertices instead, instead of two. See, if you try to marry three people in the marriage, it'll fuck up. See, Blender will teach you about life. But if you marry two, it be straight. Except for the motherfuckers who got multiple wives, then that's on them. But hey, we're going to merge these two. So that couple is merged. Move this couple right here so they can do what they need to do by themselves. And we got this single couple right here. Let's merge these. Let's match make these couples right here. Let's go ahead and get these ones right here. You know what I'm saying? Click them, merge, boom. And now they together. 
Now everybody's all at one. They dysfunctional right now. But once we get, like I said, in a sculpting mode, we gonna make sure they all looking good. So, but the key is right now is just to get them connected to the palm, you know? But me, am I gonna listen? Hold on, okay. So all I doing, just rotate, just rotate, that's it. Rotate this. Rotate this. Like, if you want the bones to be a little bit noticeable, you can. So I hit edge select mode and select this one. And then IG, move it on the Y. That way the bones can be a little bit more vis visible. All right, bet. So we got the hand almost done, y'all. Y'all see how, like, proportion that looks? You see the topology? You know what I'm saying? Everything looks visible. Everything looks clear. Nothing is jumbled up. Well, not really, I guess. But yeah, just make sure you had a good topology going on, fam. Just move this side. Move this. I'm just suggesting right now, yeah. I'm not major. Just trying to make everything look like a hand, you know? Well, make this part look like a hand. And just push this back. I'm gonna shrink these down because them pawns fat as hell. I ain't gonna cap. All right, let's go ahead and bring that pinky out. All H. Move this pinky down. All A. Let's move this downward. All right, let's go ahead and play matchmaker, man. He merged these vertices. I like to start on the bottom. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna select these. You already know. Match mate. Boom. Move it over. Select these. Match mate. Boom. Move it over. Select these. Match mate. Boom. And the last two, select these. Match mate, boom. And then let's move this out the way. And we finally got our hands. We got our hands. What we what we can do is let's scale these little fingernails down. Actually, we got we might want to do it one by one. Now, 
if you want to lift the fingernails up just a tad, you just rotate this back piece. So what I do is I rotate the back piece. Rotate it on the Y if you want. Yeah. Man, I'm a character model specialist, dude. Character model blur specialist. I don't even know if I said that right, but I had let's spit in my mouth. I'm trying to say that one. Goodness! I'm just I specialize in character model. But yo. Alright, so we got the hands connected to each other. Let's move these knuckles up. Who these knuckles are right here? Shit, G and Z. You should move it up a tad bit, just like that. Alright. So now you just check the hand out. Make sure you save. Make sure you save, y'all. I will not, I cannot stress that enough. If you want to be tweaking out on your projects, then don't save. Watch Blender crash, you gotta start over. Make sure you save. Make sure you save. Okay? Cannot stress that enough. All right, now I'm just adjusting now. So just adjusting my body, making, making sure like, Proportions is right. Make it sure. Just just and just and quick adjust. Quick adjust. Justin, you can scale it. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to form itself now. All right. So, we have created our base mesh. So if you want to go ahead and save this as uh, just save the base mesh, you can. That way, if you decide to create a new character, you ain't got to remodel it from scratch. You could just use this and then fucking morph it the way you need to. But yeah, um, so we got we got the hands done. And the reason why I add no feet is because we finna put socks and shoes there, so that's gonna be our feet. So we don't really need to do too much extra work for no reason. All right, so we got the head. Okay. Got the arm, got the arms, got the legs, and got the hands together. Now it's time to go into scope mode, and we are going to, matter of fact. In part three, I'm, okay. So yeah, we got the hands, make sure. Oh, we gotta do the eyes, y'all, I'm sorry. So let's work on the eyes while we do that. I'm trying to see how I wanna do this. Let me see the eye. Okay, we can do it like that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is how we gonna do the eyes. Gonna select these right here. Try to select these. So 
So boom, 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 boom. Hit I to inset. Okay. Move them down. Okay. Right click, loop tool, circle. Okay. Rotate. Wait, why the hell? I lied. Don't do that. Hold on. Yeah, so I'll uh, undo that. Don't do not do the loot tools part. All right, we'll leave it like that for right now. Now, if you want, we can go ahead and uh, start moving this in like a circular pattern, in circular form. So I'm just hit G twice. It ain't gotta be a perfect circle. Just really move the bottoms. And just hit this. All right, bet. And then hit this. All right, so these are the 2024 eyes, the new eye method. So we don't do bulgy eyes anymore. We do the new eye method, dudes. So what I do, I'm gonna hit I again to inset, I'm gonna hit I to inset. And I wanna see if it'll let me do the circle again. Okay, I guess. All right, so if you didn't follow that, what I did is I hit, all right. So I selected these again, I hit I, I inset it again only just a tad right here then I right click loop tool circle and then we gonna rotate 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 oh, rotate there make sure it's good move it on the X and we gonna move these back actually no don't move them back yet Hit S, Y, zero. Oh no, I lied, don't do that. Let's scale it down, let's scale it down, let's scale it down, let's scale it down. Let's scale it down, let's scale it down. Let's move it down, move it down. So make sure y'all paying attention, man. Oh no. All right, so what I say, scale it down. What happens if I get I again? I ain't gonna cap y'all. I might hit I again. Hit I, cause now we got perfect circle now. Let me see, right click, circle. Let me do that. Before we even, so I want to scale this. All right, so we need to extrude it back. We hit E and Y. All matter of fact, fuck that. Delete the faces first. All right, bet. Now we can go ahead, hit E and Y. No. Just scale it back just a tad. <laughs> and now, heat. when you hit extrude it and then hit Y, now we're gonna scale it on the Z. If you want, oh, let me turn on this proportional editing, connected only, let me see something. All right, so now we're gonna scale it on the Z, make sure proportional editing on. 
and make sure this is clear. Alright. Now just extrude it back one more time. Right there. And we're gonna add some more definitions. Definition. Hold on, let me show you. So we just made our eye sockets for right now, okay? We made our eye sockets. Just wait, just wait. We're gonna go ahead and move to the, into the, uh, what is it? The mouth. So how I did this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit S, Z, and zero. That way we can straight this bridge right here out. If you want, we can move this down to see this hole. Slit this eye, these eye sockets. Let's move it down. If you want, we can scale it on the X. Well, we can shape them the way we want to, but we're not finna do it just yet. We're just trying to make sure they like a decent amount of size, you know? Decent size. All right. All right, let's go ahead and do the mouth. Let's get the mouth out there. So this will be our mouth. Like this, just hit B. Connect it. And just to make that finish. All right, so we got our mouth. Don't worry about the head shape, y'all. Just come on, follow me. Cause in my head, I'm like, damn, that head ugly as fuck. But it's all good. It is all good. This is where we want to be at. All right. For the edge select mode, select these edges, top edges. Hit G twice. Let these edges hit G twice and move them out. And then you can move it on the X. Alright, so select these interfaces right here. And we're gonna take this mirror modifier off. We're gonna turn it off with this TV. Make sure that TV's off. Gonna go to right view, hit E and Y. Alright, hit E, Y again. Now you want to just rotate, rotate, scale it a little bit. Alright, hit E, Y again. Rotate it. And this is like the esophagus. You ain't got to make it go all the way down. You know what I'm saying? And just control R loop cut right here. You scale that up. Just control R, loop cut right here. All right, now for those who know, we're just gonna take these sides right here and delete it, delete the faces. Now you're gonna go back to front view and turn the mirror modifier back on. All right, did I fuck up? Damn, fuck though, y'all. Fuck though, let me undo that. All right. We 
go ahead and do it this way then. Hit E, Y. Let's go to right view. E, Y. Let's rotate it down. You scale it as well. Hit E, Y again. Then we're gonna scale it on the Y axis and hit zero. Just move that down. All right, we're gonna take this, move it back, because my boy got that underbite like a motherfucker. All right, so we got our mouth. We gonna get into the lips, y'all. We just trying to get everything, like, I guess, get everything lined up the way it needs to be. So, what I'll do is I'ma hit K for knife tool, select this, and I'll select this. Hit enter, should be something like that. And that's gonna be our nose. I don't know how I did that, but hey, we're gonna rock with it. This is what Blender gave me, and this is what I'm gonna use. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Blender will mess with you. They'll, 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 fuck, they'll fuck with you or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta, gotta keep playing with it, and then it's like, it'll, it'll low key model itself if you know what I'm talking about. So we got our nose, the shape of it. I ain't really have to do the shape for real. So we got the shape. So we're gonna hit E and Y. Extrude that nose out, my dog. And the nose looks small as a mug. It's alright though. And we just go start forming it into the shape that we want. So of course the no nose have like a little hump on the top. Let's just move this down. We're gonna extrude this again. E, Y. And then just scale it. I had undid it. I want to see if I extrude this out. What did I do? Just like. What would this do? You could really just, if you wanted to, just add this with this. Or no, damn, you don't even do it like that. Cool. I'm just adjusting right now. I'm just rotating and adjusting. All right. So we got our basics, everything. We got our eye sockets. We got our basic eye sockets, basic nose and basic mouth shape. We got our ears and we got our basic model. So everything is prepped, ready to go. All right. So now in part three, what we're going to do is we're going to start actually shaping it into the character we want. Like this is a basic generic model but we're gonna actually shape it and we're gonna actually start adding eyes we're gonna like shape the eyes to where we can like you know like the pixar eyes like disney eyes 
I'm gonna show you how to make eyes like that. So show you how to do like Pixar eyes. So if you need, if you wanna learn and continue this, man, just catch me in part three. And yeah, man, I'm glad I can put videos like this out for y'all. That way y'all can follow along, add it to your bag and uh, do your own or you know what I'm saying? be creative. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in part three. Part three, like I said, we're gonna go over the sculpting. We're gonna start doing sculpting. And uh, I'm gonna teach you how to cheat the ways of retopology. So we ain't gotta even retopologize because we're not finna do that. I ain't gonna count. I'm scared of retopology. So we're not finna do all that. We finna just keep it plain Jane simple. But also add add that 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 quality and be effective with it. So yeah, catch y'all in part three. Peace.